Hey there, welcome back. Uh, Linux Hub version 3.0 is now available. So I went ahead and uh, set up uh, the download links for the ISO so you can uh, take a look at it and see what it all has to offer. So I got it here on my website and you can see this is version 3.0 that comes with new features. Everything is updated to the latest version of Linux Mint 2.1.3. Updated the installer, welcome screen, and system settings. From the welcome screen, you can update the kernel to 6.1. Also added variety as a wallpaper chooser, along with other theme features. Added a new power menu for sessions. Also for the welcome screen, added features to update, upgrade system on the fly. And this is the download link. So we click on that, it should open up. All right, but I already have it on the virtual machine. So let's head on over to the virtual machine and take a look at Linux Hub version 3.0. And here we are on the virtual machine and you can see the installer is opened up automatically. So press Angular selected, I'll click continue. We have my keyboard layout, English US, continue. And I'll select the button to install multimedia codecs, continue. And here I'll select Erase Disk and install Linux Hub version 3.0. If you wanted to double boot your system, you would select the top one. But if you just have a blank disk, you'll just erase disk and install. And I'll click Install Now. Click on Continue. And my location is selected as Los Angeles, so I'll click Continue. And here I'll add my user info. So this one, I'm going to call it... Uh, Linux Hub 3.0 and give it a complicated password and for the sake of this video I'm going to select login automatically and it's doing its thing now so it's going to install the system and then this should take uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes so uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video now, and when we come back, we'll be ready to reboot into Linux Hub version 3.0. And the installer is now complete, so I'll go ahead and click on Restart Now and reboot the system. And we are now rebooted into Linux Hub version 3.0. And we are greeted by a welcome screen here. So on this welcome screen, we have a update system, upgrade system, open software manager, install image tools, install office tools, install audio video tools, customize look and feel, change desktop background, update kernel, open mint welcome, so the, the normal welcome screen that you would get with Linux Mint, you can open it up here. And also put a link to uh, Linux Mint. So if you want to visit their website, you can click on this here. And then also put a link to uh, Linux Hub. And there's also a button right here. So if you want to remove this so it doesn't open up or you reboot the system, you just click on this link here also. And then you can just close it down once you're done. All right. So as you can see here, I got uh, some scripts here to install, you know, certain software. So the way I got it set up is that obviously on my panel, the left click is going to open up the Rofi menu. So this is just a continuous menu that lists everything uh, alphabetically. And if you use the uh, route, the right mouse button click, that opens up the uh, whisker, uh, the whisker menu. And here you have your uh, standard layout. You got your favorites, recent, all applications, accessories, development graphics, internet, multimedia, office, other, settings, and system. So you can see here in the office, I got it just minimum, just got the lever office base on here. And in the multimedia, you just have a rhythm box. And you know, in the graphics, you have your simple image viewers and things like that. So on here, I set it up so you can install other software on the welcome screen. So we'll start off with uh, updating the system. So you just click on the button and enter your password. Okay, 
The system's updated. Now do upgrade. Same thing. Enter password. There's that. If you want to open up the system man, the software manager, click here. It'll open up uh, the software manager. So the cache on here on your first uh, open is always going to take a while. So I'll just set that to the side. And then you can also install here image tools like GIMP and things like that. Creta, Inkscape. So if I click on this, and I'll enter my password. And it's going off to install your uh, image suite. So like I said, it will install GIMP, Creta, Inkscape, a few other things. And that's all done right here. And we're still waiting for the software manager to open up. Like I said, it's generating the cache, but here it is now. And it's your uh, standard software manager for an Linux Mint. So nothing new here. You've seen it before, and it's all here, and it all works. So if you're looking for something to install, you just open this up and get it done. And on the about here, you see it's install 8.2.9 software manager. All right, while it's installing another software there, you can do other things like customize look and feel. So this is your uh, theme settings right here. So if you wanted to change the theme, just click on it and it'll change it system wide. So I had it set up to Greybird, so I'll just go back to that. Click on close. And if you wanted to uh, change your desktop background, you can just click right here where it says change desktop background and it opens up variety. I added variety to the system. So the wallpapers open up at the bottom. So if you want to change it, you can just click on it. Find a wallpaper you like, select it, and have fun with it. So it's just a mixed bag of wallpapers, you know. It's off. It's all internet based, so you know, you could just download any photo you want and set it as a wallpaper yourself if you want to. And that'll set it up for you. And to close that, you just right click on it. And also, right here, I have a button right here to uh, update the kernel. So if we open up a terminal right now, let me click you name A. And right here, we can see the kernel is 5.15. And this is what comes installed automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this update kernel. Enter my password. Select yes. And this is going to update the kernel to the 6.1. It's the latest stable edition for uh, Linux Mint. So uh, it'll do this right here for you. And as it does this, I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system. So we can see that we are using the Linux kernel 6.1. Yeah, now I've went ahead and rebooted the system, so we can take a look at the kernel now. So previously it was 5.15. So let's just do a, a Neo fetch. And we can see right here. See the kernel now is 6.1.0. And it is Linux Hub version 3.0. All right. And this terminal right here, we are using the uh, LX terminal, terminal emulator from the NXDE project. So the personal uh, terminal that I like to use, so I set it up on this system. You do have the XFCE terminal on here also, if you want to use that. But I prefer LX terminal. And now that we got this down, let's take a look at HTOP. See how our system is running. You see right here, I'm only using uh, four cores. And the memory right here is 727 megabytes out of the, out of four gigabytes, so 750 megabytes is how it'll run. And your load average is 0 0.14, 0 0.8, 0 0.3. All right. So, like I said, right here, this uh, welcome screen. Just click on here, and it'll remove it from the uh, auto start. And once it's removed, it'll no longer start when you reboot the system. But if you wanted to take a look at it again for whatever reason, you could just type welcome in a terminal and it'll open it up. 
perfect. This is another instance of it. All right. So I'll go ahead and close this down. And like I stated before, the left click is going to open up uh, the Rofi menu. And this is just the alphabetical menu of your applications. Or if you want to search for something, for example, Firefox. And then uh, they need to just select it from there. And then if you use a right mouse button, it'll open up the uh, XFCE uh, whisker menu. So you click on that and boom. All right. So pretty much comes with your standard uh, XFCE suite and, you know, just regular apps. I did install from the welcome screen the uh, the graphics, the image tools. So you can see here, well, now we got Coercing, Gamp, Inkscape, Creator, View Noir. So, but if you want to always install extra multimedia, you could always open up the welcome screen again and you can do, let's see. We can do, uh, the one that I clicked was the image tools, but you could install office tools. This is installed the entire office suite. All right, so now the office suite is installed now. So if I go back to the menu and go into office, you can see it's all, all of the office suite is now installed. And let's say into our multimedia, this is what we have right now, just hypnotic, pulse audio, and rhythm box. So I'll install audio video tools. Hey, all right, audio video tools, I finished installing. So you can go back to your whisker manual, click it up, uh, multimedia. You see we got Audacity, Celluloid, Kden Live, MPV, Simple Screen Recorder, VLC. And also set it up to also uh, add a blender. So you got blender in there also. But like I said, these are all standard tools that you can just uh, download on your own and install them from the uh, software center. So the software center is always going to be in uh, in your system. So you have a big manager, software sources, software manager. So this software manager is the same one that opens up from right here. So this is a. Uh, Linux Hub version 3.0 said uh, it uses the uh, 10 2 panel. So, on the panel itself, we have our system tray on the right and our couple pin applications on the left, and then we have our uh, launcher. So, on the pin applications, I just have uh, LX terminal. So, we already saw that earlier. And then the other thing we have is our file manager. So being that it is XFCE, I don't like using Thunar. I just, I'm just used to using Nemo. So I replaced it with Nemo. And if we look at about Nemo 6.0.2. It's just the way I like to use uh, my system. So I always uh, install Nemo. I'm used to it, so that's why I use it. And then of course, the web browser, Firefox. Then Arrow Firefox, let's see the version we're running. And it's Mozilla Firefox for Linux Man 122.0. All right. And like I said, it's now available on the website. So you can go there and download it and have fun with it. So it's available now. Scroll down, and there it is. Linux Sub version 3.0, XFCE. I might do a version on uh, OpenBox also. I might update the OpenBox version. So uh, if that's something you guys want to see me do, or you just want it, just let me know, and I'll go ahead and set it up. So right now you still have the version 2 of uh, Linux Hub available for XFCE. And the version 1, of course, is open box. So that these are unchanged. It's just Linux Hub version 3.0 that's been updated. All right. Along other things that I've changed right here. So let's say you're clocked down here on the right. If you use the right mouse button, it'll open up your... Uh, your 10 tool panel settings. So this way, if there are any edits you want to make to your panel, 
You want to change the look of it, change the colors, anything you want to do with the panel, you can do it right here. So you just right click on the mouse or you could just type in 102 conf in the uh, terminal and it'll open up also. So you could do the gradients, backgrounds, panel, panel items, taskbar, task buttons, add your personal launchers, anything you want to do with the clock, system tray. If you had a laptop, it'll give you your battery. Uh, like right now, same battery low, but we don't have a, we're not a uh, battery powered. We're actually plugged in. So then you can set up your tool tips. And this is my button for the actual launcher right here. All right. And like I said, uh, I don't like the decorations around the windows. So every time I open up something, it's not going to have any, uh, any decorations around the window. So let's say, for example, if I open up Audacity, sometimes this takes a while to load, so we'll just wait patiently. You can see around the windows, there's no decorations. There's no uh, buttons on it or nothing, no titles. I like to remove all that. And same thing for the main window itself. You get your file options, but just, I don't like to have the buttons on there. Remove all of those because I control everything from the from the buttons itself down here. So you know I can make it bigger, make it smaller. I can bring it down, bring it back up, and I can close it from here too. It's just a workflow that I'm used to, and this is the way I like to have my system set up. So that's the way I set this one up. For something you like, hey, all the links will be down in the video description. So you can go ahead and play with it. And like I said, do what you want with it. It's yours. All right. So uh, this is Linux Hub version 3.0. Have fun with it and enjoy. And I'm out. This uh, shutdown screen right here. I did a video recently of how to make this with YAD. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use images as your buttons so you guys can all take a look at that. All right, I'm out. Mm -hmm.